Hey, you're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. My name is Anne, and this is The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage, made possible with support from Nicolay Bank. In studio with me today is a Mile of Music first-timer, Kelsey Miles. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Well, welcome back. This might be your first Mile of Music, but it's certainly not your first time in our fair city it or playing in this area um talk about it being your first mile what are you what you've played here a couple of times you oh, know i love appleton the people here the the love of original music it shines so bright here and the collaborative spirit too this is uh i'm so excited for mile i'm so excited i've heard nothing but wonderful things and every experience I've had in Appleton has been wonderful already. So. Well, this is the the uh, most wonderful time of our year. I know you <laughs> played on the Avenue's uh, Christmas show last year at the PAC, but honestly, for the music lovers in town, Mile of Music Week, that's your birthday, your anniversary, Christmas, Easter, all rolled into one. So oh, I um, love it. I'm looking forward to hearing your experience, uh, you know, and, and how it has, uh, you know, heightened from your other Appleton experiences. Yeah, this seems also like a really collaborative event. So I'm excited to meet a lot of other musicians as well. So. That is one of my favorite parts of um, Mile of Music is seeing musicians have a chance to stop and take in some other shows. So, totally. Um, that's a happy mile, I yeah. guess, is what I'll say to you. So um, for those of you who may not be as familiar with Kelsey, uh, let's give our listeners a little background. You um, were based in Wisconsin, but you've just relocated, right? Yeah, I'm in Kansas City now, but I was I got my start in Wisconsin and and mainly based out of Madison. Um, but right now I'm in Kansas City um, and I play with a band there called Lost Wax, and so that's the band that um, I'm I'm playing with right now as well as I do my own originals. So. Was this a was this a move for your music? Yeah, career? they have been flying me in quite a bit uh, to play, uh, and then I finally decided to make the move. I fell in love with some of the blues. Uh, open jams there and I'm a harmonica player so uh Kansas City was the move for me their gain is our loss uh, but, well, but I I'm certainly <laughs> but I certainly understand it based on your sound um and your path to music and performance is a little out of the ordinary very <laughs> out of the ordinary talk about that well I'm originally from Ohio I moved to Wisconsin uh, in 2000 14 got my PhD in chemistry 2017 you know often a great requirement for being Clear, a performer yes. in order mm -hmm. to become a musician you must get a PhD in chemistry it makes no sense <laughs> <laughs> you know I think what I loved about chemistry was the creative aspect and so what happened though during grad school is that's when I picked up the guitar for the first time in my life. I did not know I was a musician. I did not grow up in a musical family. It was not part of my life. In fact, I thought I was a bad singer. My high school choir teacher didn't really make me feel like I was very good at singing. I had no idea I was a musician. I was going through a really hard time and music was the first thing that made sense. It made sense to me and it helped me heal through a lot of things I had been through. Well, that's really hopeful, you know, for anybody who oh, loves yeah, music exactly. but didn't know they had it in exactly. them. Exactly. I think I think that we often have a story in our head that we can't do things, but don't why would you limit yourself, right? And I got really surprised. I got really lucky. I picked up guitar and I'm able to sing and play it, right? And and I fell in love with it. I think that we all need to um I think it it's it really serves us to add some creativity into our lives in whatever capacity that is. Well, amen to that. For the latest information on Kelsey's schedule at the festival, um, you know, the Mile of Music app or the schedule at Festival Headquarters, we, can we give our listeners a little sample of what they might hear? If, oh, um, yeah, if let's they do it. Yeah. Oh, that would be so much fun. I'll play you something from my new album. This is from my I Am album, which I have, I'll have. i have this weekend. Oh, um, yeah. And the album is really cool because you also have a book, an accompanying book 
with it. It's it's really neat. We've talked about it before, and it's a it's a a journal. It's a lyrical journal, and um, peek behind the process, and you know, throw in a little. Um, personal reflection and meditation, and uh, you've got a full multimedia kind of uh, experience. It really is. If you're someone who uses music to heal and uses music to feel more fully like alive, this is perfect. This is also a perfect gift. It's an ex- I wrote this experience so that way others can can dive in and, and find it for themselves. Well, that sounds right up any mile of music fans alley tell us what we're going to hear this one's called fool A fool, I was a fool now. I was a fool to walk that line. I was a fool to compromise. I was a fool to bow to kiss. But now you ain't got a none of this. No, I was a fool. I was a fool now. In town for Mile of Music, making her Mile of Music debut from Kansas City by way of Madison, Wisconsin. Have a great festival. For the latest information on Kelsey's schedule at the festival, the Mile of Music app, or the schedule at festival headquarters. The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage is made possible by Nicolay Bank. Nicolay Bank is a supporting partner of the Avenue. <laughs> 